from a light base coat, in this case sandry dust spray, paint to the front of the gun with tow light ochre. Um, you can use darker base coats as well, but tow light ochre has poor coverage, so in that case I'd suggest undercoating with XV88. Paint all the black areas of the gun with a bad black. Recess shade all of the areas on the lighter part of the gun with wildwood contrast paint. Um, a lot of the detail is very deep in the model, which is easy enough to pick out, but this is an older sculpt, so some of the detail is a lot more shallow. Um, just to take your time with it and just correct any mistakes then with Tau Light Ochre. Uh, for the area to be painted gold later, just paint the entire area with this wildwood contrast. Edge highlights all of these areas now with Ungore Flesh. Um, unfortunately for this area, there isn't a huge amount of sharp edges to use the edge of the brush. Um, but again, just take your time with it. And because this is quite a light color, mistakes are easily corrected then with Tau Light Ochre. Edge highlight all the black areas with Mechanica Standard Grey. Um, this area is a little bit easier because you can use the edge of the brush for most of the edge highlighting, bar a few bits in the middle of the gun. Paint the gold part at the front of the gun with Retributor Armour, taking care to avoid spilling into the recesses. Shade the gold then with Gilliman Flash Contrast. For the lenses on the scope of the gun, I base coat with it first with Mephisto red paint. Paint the centre area with Evil Sun Scarlet, leaving some of this in red at the extreme edges, but painting most of the lens with this colour. Finish the effect, paint the centre of the lens with Fire Dragon Bright. Pick out any of the areas you wish to be blue. Um, in this case, I picked out the two bulbs on the side of the scope, the two parts of the barrel, and the grill in the black part of the gun. Um, first using a base coat of Sotec Green. I find for any of the circular areas, actually having a lump of thicker paint on the tip of the brush is the easiest way of doing it. However, when doing the recessed grill, having a thinner paint that will act more like a wash is the better approach. Repeat this method with the lighter Temple Guard Blue on the round areas aiming to cover most of it but not the entirety of it so that the darker colour shows through. And with regards to the recess part, again using thinner layers and aiming to fill probably the middle of two thirds of each of these areas with the lighter colour. To finish the effect, uh, dot highlight the round areas with blue horror and paint just the centre of the grill with this colour. Uh, 
and this is the finished result. If you like this video, please check out my channel where there are numerous other short and long form tutorials.